वेलकम टू ऑल इन द न्यू लेक्चर और यू कैन से दैट द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस न्यू ईयर 2021 फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विश यू अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू दिस 2021 सो एंड वी विश दैट द दिस ईयर विल बी healthy and good for everyone so now let's start our the lecture today's lecture that is on basics of counting actually here we start our the next unit that is on elementary combinatorics so first topic of this is basics of counting so uh, further uh, to this we first we talk about the combinatorics so what is the combinatorics actually combinatorics is the way to count the number of ways to put things together into various combinations like you can say there suppose if a password is 6 7 or 8 digits long and the character is an upper letter or a digit and the password is required to include at least one digit so how many passwords can there be means when you set any password of any your device so you have these options so uh, for such type of uh, conditions how many passwords you can form so you can calculate these by the combinatorics or suppose you uh, want to know that how many graphs are there for n nodes so you can also compute this with the help of the combinatorics so there are the two basic rules of this combinatorics first one is the sum rule and another one is the product rule so first we talk about the sum rule so what is the sum rule actually here suppose we consider that the two task and the number of ways to do the task 1 is m and the number of ways to do the task 2 is n and these two tasks are independent each other so performing task 1 doesn't complete task 2 and vice versa means these two tasks are independent to each other and but are the mutually exclusive so in this cases we use the sum rule so the number of ways that either task 1 or task 2 can be done but not both so that is m plus n means we have to do the task but either task 1 we need to do and or the task 2 so we have here the or so we use here the sum rule to find the total number of ways so now to generalize this task suppose we have uh, we have to go from this point to this point so we have one way is task to do the task 1 to reach from here to here and we can use the task 2 to go from here to here so uh, these are both are the independent ways right so the total number of ways to go from this point to this point that is m plus n right so let's take an example for this a student can choose a computer project from one of three lists the three lists contain 23 15 and 19 possible projects respectively so how many possible projects are there to choose from so here we have a one student that have to be choose one uh, project either from this or this or this right so he can choose uh, uh, one project i uh, either from 23 or 15 so if we choose if he choose either 23 so total number of ways is 23 and out of 15 he choose one that is 15 ways out of 19 he choose that is 19 ways so total number of ways is uh, either this or this or this he choose only the one project so here we use the sum rule to find the total number of ways that is 23 plus 15 plus 19 okay no worry so here actually we take uh, some other example so you have to clear this now how many strings of four decimal digits have exactly three digits that are nines so now here we have, we have to make a string that have the four digit so we have the four digits means we have the four places here to fill the to make the string so four places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
थ्री एंड फोर सो टू यूजिंग द फोर डिजिट वी हैव टू मेक अ स्ट्रिंग सो एंड वन कंडीशन इज हियर गिवन दैट एग्जैक्टली थ्री डिजिट दैट आर नाइन सो वी नो दैट एग्जैक्टली थ्री आउट ऑफ दीज फोर डिजिट एग्जैक्टली थ्री डिजिट आर नाइन बट वेरी ओनली द वन डिजिट सो इट दिस डिजिट मे बी नो नाइन इन एज at this place and no nine at the second place maybe no nine digit we have in the third place and in the fourth place right so now how many total number of ways total number of ways we use here the sum rule means either we have to use no nine digit here or here or here or here but the total number of ways to choose that nine or here is a total number of digits we have the 10 0 to 9 total number of digits we have 10 so out of 10 we have to choose are the digit right but here we have to choose the no nine means one digit has we have to uh, not to consider so remaining nine from nine digits we have to choose this either this or this or this so our uh, total number of ways we have the nine possibilities for each place that is 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 that is 36 ways okay now let's take an another example how many ways can we get a sum of 7 or 11 when two distinguishable dice are rolled so two distinguishable dice are rolled it means that for a not equal to b we have the ordered pairs are here a b b a like that means we and roll the two dice so it uh, is not uh, like that if a not equal to b so all obviously our ordered pair ab doesn't not equal to the b right so now here we have to take the sum 7 so if we have to take the sum 7 so the ordered pairs are like that 1 6 2 5 3 4 4 3 3 4 4 these are not the same right because two uh, different uh, dice is are here right so total number of ways to take the sum 7 is total 6 are here so the total number of ways to get the sum 7 is 6 now to get the sum is 11 how many ordered pairs we have how many ways we have that is only two ways we have 5 6 and 6 5 which we get the sum is 11 from the two dice so here we have these is the two ways right so now either or is here so remember this thing or or means you have to use the sum rule either this or this we have to take right so we use here the sum rule uh, that is 6 plus 2 total ways to get the sum is 7 is 6 and total ways to get the sum is 11 2 so that is 6 plus 2 total 8 ways right now the set theoretical version means if a is the set of ways to do the task 1 b is the set of way to do the task 2 so if a and b are disjoint so either task 1 or 2 are a union b you already studied about the set theory in a uh, set theory that a union b what is the meaning of a union b either a means you say that x belongs to a or x belongs to b so if you have the or means you have to use the a union b and what is the number of a union b that is equal to number of a plus number of b now come to the next rule that is product rule so what is the product rule so here we consider again the two task and the task one number of ways to do the task one is m and number of ways to do the task two n and here these two tasks also independent and uh, these are the uh but here actually what is the difference that we have to do the task 1 and 2 both right uh so we use here the and and so we use here the product rule means the number of ways both the task 1 and 2 can be done that is how many ways are m n m multiply n ways if we have to do the, both the task but both task are must be the independent right so in the generalized form you can say that suppose we have to reach from this point to this point and this point to this point and we use task 1 from reaching this point to this point and to do to go from this point to this point we use the task 2 so these 
both tasks are different to each other because it doesn't matter that how can we go from this point to this point and how can we go from this point to this point so task 1 and task 2 are independent each other but our motive is that we have to go from this point to this point means we have to do both the work but these works are independent so here we use are the product so now some examples are here suppose 18 math projects are here and 325 cs measures projects are here so now how many ways are there to pick one math measure and one cs measure right so out of 18 you have to choose one and out of 325 you have to choose one but you have to choose both from both one from this and one from this so total number of ways 18 ways choose the math one math measure and 325 ways choose the ma uh, measure cs so total number of ways is 18 multiply 325 that is 5850 are the total number of ways to choose the one math and one cs measure right so now come to the function so how many functions are there from a to b if we talk about the function and we have the sets a and b a has the elements three elements and b has the four elements so how many functions you can form from this so if we talk about the function it means that each element of the set a has the uh, image right no elements such are elements are remaining here which has not the image it means that each element of a is related to the element all elements of the or each elements of the b so we have the three choices the to uh, make the functions for each element of a and each element of a has the four options right so here we have the three elements are there so how many options to fill these three elements first element have how many options four options are there and for second elements again four options are there for the third element again four options are are there right so because so now here we have the uh, what how many functions are there four multiply four multiply four so that is four raised to the power 3 64 means you can say that number of b raised to the power number of a because in a function each element is related to the element of the b right so now next one is how many one to one functions are there from set a to set b so here we have the a set has the three elements b set has the four elements so now here one uh, important thing is that we have to make the function one one function one to one and one to one function means that the each element of a is related to each element of b means single element of b not the two elements right so here we have the three elements and how many choices of these elements to fill to the one one means if for the a you have the four options you can uh, relate any one from these and for the b now you have only the three options because one option has already gone so only for b you have the three options you can go from any one this one this one this one but you have the three options and for the third element for the one one function you have to choose these from you can take any one right so how many options are there for this you have the four option for the second element you have the three options for the third element you have the two options so total number of ways or you can say that uh, the um, one to one functions to be formed here 24 that is 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 so if we talk about that uh, if we say that the number of elements are four so what you can see if the number of elements are four so how many uh, one to one functions are there if suppose you have another element here that is your fourth element right so how many options for this to make the relation from the b element here we have the one option so we have to multiply uh, also the one so we can say that this is again we will get the 24 11 function clear 
Now let's take an another example. A person has four hats, three pair of gloves, and five pair of socks. So how many combinations can he try? So what you do here? Actually, a person want the hat, hat all, uh, hat also, pair of gloves also, pair of socks also. But these all are different to each other, right? So he choose one hat from these four hats, and he choose one pair of gloves from these three pair of gloves, and pair of socks from these five so to choose the hat that is four ways to choose the pair of gloves that is three ways to choose the pair of socks that is five ways right but he need all these three things right so the total number of uh, combinations here he has four multiply three multiply five that is 60 ways now some another example how many strings of four decimal digits do not contain the same digit twice so means four places you have here these are the four places you have to fill the digits to make the string and condition is that do not contain the same digit so means uh, uh, if you uh, fill one place so how many possibilities you have to fill the one place 10 possibilities because we have the 10 digits 0 to 9 total 10 digits we have so the first digit we have to fill that we have the 10 possibilities so now for the second place uh, to fill the second place how many possibilities you have the digits because here say that do not contain the same digit so this digit we have to eliminate uh, our digits this digit so we have remaining the nine options are there right and to fill the third digit we have the eight options to fill the fourth digit we have the seven options so uh, what is the total number of ways to fill the digits that is 10 multiply 9 multiply 8 multiply 7 so that is 5040 ways to make the string four digit string clear now, next one is says that how many string of four decimal digits and with an even digits means this condition is not there now. Condition is that and with an even digits. So we have here the four places to make the uh, string to fill the digits, and so here you can fill these three places to any digit means maybe repeated or non repeated it depend on you but we have to choose all from all digits so how many ways to fill this 10 how many ways to fill this again 10 how many ways to fill this again 10 because here we have not this condition that digits uh, are the don't the same right now come to this digit here say that and with an even digit so how many ways to fill this digit this place this place uh, because we have to fill this with the even digits so how many even digits you have the five so total number of ways to fill this 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply 5 so this is the 5000 ways clear so now in the set form the a is the set of ways to do the task one b is the set of ways to do the task two and a and b are disjoined so then both the tasks do do task one and two that is represented by a multiply b so the number of a cross b that is equal to number of a multiply number of b so uh, we can solve our problems by the combining of product rule and the sum rule means till now we solve the separately the uh, using the sum rule using the product rule but in our the problems uh, complex problems or interesting problems we have to use both these things both these rules sum rule and the product rule so by these both rules we can use uh, solve any complex problem so now here you see that uh, both of using here how many different numbers below 1000 below 1000 can be formed from the digits 3 4 6 7 and 8 and here first is that no digit is repeated and second one digit can be repeated so first thing is here that number less than 1000 number less than 1000 means it may be uh, if we have the number less than 1000 it means that it may be one digit number it may be two digit number or it may be three digit number right so any one from this any one 
it may be this or this or this so we have to do take the number of total number of ways for all of these so our first case that is no digit is repeated so in this case if we have the no digit is repeated so if we make the one digit number so how many ways to make the one digit number here we have total digits are 3 4 6 7 8 total five digits are there five numbers are there so here we have the total five ways to do the one digit number now come to the two digit number so to make the two digit number here two digit number means we have the uh, digits which have the ones places and the tens places digit so to fill the one uh, unit place how many options we have we have the one two three five digits we have from five digits we have to make these two digit numbers so unit place we have the five options because here digits are not repeated so for the second one here we have how many options for fill the tenth place that is four options are there so total options are total number of ways to fill these two digits to make the two digit number that is five multiply for 20 ways right now come to the third three digit number if we want to make the three digit number so we have the three places to fill the digits so for the unit place how many possibilities we have to fill the digit five and for the tenth place we have how many uh, number of ways because one digit has been used here so how many numbers remaining we have out of which from we have to choose four and for the hundredth place we have the three digits option so total number of ways are five multiply four multiply three this is 60 ways to do the three digit number so total we have the five ways to make the one digit number 20 ways to make the two digit number and 60 ways to make the third three digit number so here we have to find the different number of ways how many different number of ways less than 1000 so uh, we say that it may be uh, either one digit number or two digit number or three digit number so total number of ways this plus this plus this right so here we use the sum rule 5 that is the uh, for one digit number we have the 5 ways 20 plus 60 so that is 85 ways clear how to use the product rule and where we use the sum rule now come to the second point that is digits can be repeated can be repeated it means that uh, for one digit place because here we have the five digits so we have the five ways now come to the second point here we have the two places to fill the two digit number so for the unit place how many options we have five options are there and for the second place we have again the five options why because our digits are may be repeated right so digits can be repeated so total number uh, out of uh, five digits we can choose here in total given five numbers we can choose any one from here so total number of ways to make the unit digit five and again total number of ways to make the tenth place digit that is five so total number of ways is five multiply five twenty five right so now to make the three digit number so again here if we want to create the three digit number so unit place how many options we have five for second again we have the five for third one again we have the five because digits are repeated here right so total number of ways are 125 so now either this one or this one or this one so total number of ways are we have to use some rule here so total 155 ways to make the three uh, number of ways to make the digits right so now another example is that a store has eight regular doorways and five emergency doors which can be opened from the only from the inside in how many ways can a person enter and leave the store so now eight are the regular doors right and five are the emergency door so for entering the room we have on we use only the eight doors because these are the emergency door and emergency door are not used for the entering it used only for the exit so our uh, a person can enter the room eight doors but can leave the room this 
or either either this uh, door or uh, this door so total 8 plus 5 13 doors out of 13 doors he can leave the store so now how many ways can enter or leave that is this and this so 8 multiply 13 so that is 104 ways clear okay so next example a computer password consist of an alphabet followed by three or four digits find total number of password with digit repeated and digit not repeated so first we talk about the digits are repeated right so if digits are repeated so here we have the case for the total number of password is uh, two cases are arises here password with four characters and plus password with five characters why because either uh, we have to use the four uh, an alphabet followed by three if we take suppose the password is an alphabet or three digits so total password length is four character if we take an alphabet and four digits so total length of the password is five characters right so either this or this so we use the sum rule here now how can we choose the four characters so four characters means the first character is from alphabet and how many alphabet we have we have the total 26 alphabet so out of 26 we have to choose one alphabet so the total number of ways to choose the alphabet that is 26 now come to the digit so here digits are repeated so three digits if we want to choose three digits and how many digits we have 10 0 to 9 we have total the 10 digits so out of 10 digits we have to choose the three and digits may be repeated so how many ways 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 so here this is number of ways to make the four characters and these are the number of ways of making the five characters right so now next is the digits not repeated digits not repeated it means that some formula is same that we have to make the password with four characters or password with five characters so what is that first is alphabet choose 26 now three digits because digits are not repeated here so for the first number first place of the digit we have the 10 options for the second place of the digit we have the nine option for the third place of the digit we have the eight option similarly for the five characters we have the first digit number we have the 10 options for the second place digit we have the th uh, nine options and for the third place we have eight option for the fourth place we have the seven option so total we have these number of ways to find the number of total passwords clear now come to the factorial uh, i uh, you know already about the factorial just recap here because we use the factorial much more fa uh, use uh, the factorial here in the combinatorics so just recap it that what is the factorial a factorial is a number of product of whole numbers that down to the one means uh, that is the combination of the numbers 1 2 3 up to 9 right uh, so but these numbers are the whole numbers not the real numbers so that combination is the are the factorial so if we have the n uh, numbers so the factorial is n factorial right suppose you are you have the uh, two uh, two numbers right so two you you need to calculate two factorial so what is the two factorial two factorial how to calculate the two factorial two factorial means you have to write two up to one you have to multiply the digits right you have to multiply two multiply one suppose three factorial so three multiply two multiply one that is the value of this factorial and always remember the value of the zero factorial is one so suppose you want to calculate five factorial so that meaning is that five multiply four multiply three multiply two multiply one means you can expand the five factorial is like that up to one so this will give the value of the factorial clear so some expressions here you uh, calculate by the factorial 9 factorial so what is the value of 9 factorial 
that is you have to multiply 9 8 7 up to 1 so this is the value of 9 factorial suppose you need to calculate the value of this 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial so how can you calculate this first you expand 8 factorial what is 8 factorial 8 7 6 multiply 5 multiply 4 up to 1 and divided by 6 factorial and that is 6 multiply 5 4 3 2 1 now we have to uh, calculate this values so you have to cut each element 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 4 to 4 5 to 5 6 to 6 so remaining we have the 8 7 so 8 multiply 7 that is 56 that is the value of this expression clear so here we have the sum and 0 to 10 digit factorials you have to remember these things uh, i already told you that the value of 0 factorial is 1 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial is 6 4 factorial is 24 5 factorial is 120 these actually are used this many times so you up to here you have to remember this it will be good so up to 10 factorial we have these values So now today's lecture is completed thank you be happy be healthy